I'm going to start by apologizing to all of you. If you remember, I demoed the You Like IPL hair removal a few months ago and showed you how you can achieve permanent hair removal at home using the IPL device. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it in the end screen. The good news is that my hair hasn't grown back even after two months, but there's a few mistakes that I made at the very beginning while using the IPL and I should have included that in the initial video. I just assumed everybody will know it and they'll be comfortable using it. But I have received so many messages asking me so many different questions, which I thought I'll address in this video because I know many of you have already bought the device. And I feel like at the very beginning, if you know the do's and don'ts, you can achieve your results much faster, faster than me. If you've been following my hair removal journey, you know that I absolutely love and use you like this is the only one I use. If you've used this, you know that this is the only one that has the Sapphire ice cooling technology for painless hair removal so it doesn't pain one bit no matter which IPL device you have and if you're not seeing results you might be making one of these mistakes so I wanted to quickly go over the do's and don'ts so you don't make the same mistakes as I did and you can achieve results faster First of all, it's a myth that you cannot use IPL at home. You absolutely can. You just have to choose the right device. For example, you like is FDA approved. And I would suggest doing some research online before you buy a good IPL device. What exactly is IPL or intense pulsed light? It's a type of hair removal, which is a popular method of removing unwanted hair from the body and results are often permanent. It uses high intensity light source to target and damage the hair follicles, inhibiting future hair growth. And that's how it makes it permanent. And yes, it's absolutely safe. IPL is usually done by a professional in a professional setting until now. Now that everything is moving towards DIY, you have home-based IPL. As I told you before, the Ulike Sapphire Air 3 has four-fold ice cooling system and you feel absolutely no pain. Let me know if you've used it. Comment below and let me know so others can see as well. It is absolutely pain-free. And best of all, you can visibly see hair growth reduction in less than three weeks. First things first, to speed up the process, what are things that you should absolutely do with a home-based IPL system? Let's start with the basics. Read the instructions, which I clearly don't. I should. As with anything, the first and most important step is to read the user manual thoroughly. Each IPL device may have its own unique features and instructions, so understanding how to properly use it will ensure you get your best results. My you like user manual clearly shows how to operate the device, adjust the energy levels and more. This is my go-to anytime I have any questions or doubts. If you bought you like, I'm going to quickly show you how to use it. There's only one power button. This is the on off button and you can also use it to increase or decrease the intensity. This is the treatment button and you can press on it every time you want to treat an area or if you press and hold it turns on the auto glide mode. This is the cooling system indicator then you have a skin sensor indicator just to make sure you're laying the device flat on your skin so it works and then you have the sapphire light window. Again, if you prefer a user manual or a step-by-step -step instruction, I'm going to link that video in the end screen of this video, so make sure to watch that. The second do is absolutely perform a patch test. So choose a small area. I like to either choose a small area on my hand or leg so I can conceal it in case there is a reaction and choose the lowest energy setting to avoid any adverse reactions. Patch testing is crucial to determine how your skin will react to either IPL or any skincare treatment. Nice thing about Ulike is it has three different settings. So you can start with the lowest setting and slowly move up to a stronger setting. Next, I see many people make this mistake. Shave the area. Don't neglect. Absolutely shave the area where you plan to treat before using the device. This ensures that the energy is targeted at the hair follicles and not wasted on the hair itself about the skin surface. Whatever the treatment area is, whether it's your face, hands, legs, 
make sure you shave it before you use your IPL and that ensures maximum effectiveness. After you've shaved, make sure to cleanse and dry the skin. And the reason you cleanse the treatment area is to remove any oils, lotions or debris that could interfere with the IPL process. And you absolutely have to dry the area thoroughly before starting the treatment. I use a gentle cleanser and I'm going to link everything in the description box below. And I thoroughly dry the area and ensure my skin is absolutely ready for the treatment. Next, closing your eye while treating the area is not going to help. You have to wear protective eyewear. Safety first, you always wear your protective eyewear. You can either buy it online or if you're buying you like it comes with the package. So always wear the provided protective glasses to shield your eyes from the intense light emitted by the IPL device. These goggles are specifically designed to protect your eyes from the IPL light. Never ever skip the step. Next, start with the lowest energy level. You can, of course, gradually increase as your skin gets accustomed to the treatment. But starting with the lowest energy level minimizes the risk of skin irritation. If you want to achieve results faster, you can absolutely not skip this step. You have to follow the recommended schedule. We all know that consistency is key with anything. So make sure to follow the recommended treatment schedule provided for best results, basically. With you like, it's pretty simple. It's recommended to use the device thrice a week in the first month. So between week one to four, you use it three times a week. And then you bring it down to twice a week between weeks five to eight. After which you get into the maintenance mode of using it just one to two times a month between weeks nine to 12. And of course, by then you would have started to see results. It's very essential that you protect your skin from sun exposure. Avoid sun exposure before and after treatment as tanned skin can be more sensitive to IPL light. Whether you're indoors or stepping outside, make sure to always use sunscreen to protect the treated area. I use SPF 40 and again, I'm going to link everything in the description box below this video. With that, make sure you're consistent and patient. Although results are quick, it's not going to happen overnight. If you want faster results, stick to your treatment plan and be patient. You'll start noticing reduction in hair growth over time. I've been consistently using Ulike for three months and my hair is yet to grow back. You obviously are not going to see permanent results after just one or two sessions. Just remember, it's a journey. You only see results with continued use. Now, we touched upon some of the things that you absolutely should be doing to speed up the process. What shouldn't you be doing? Remember the mistakes that I was talking about that I made? Here they are. Don't use it if there isn't enough hair skin contrast. It's a waste. What do I mean by that? Here's a picture that demonstrates what exactly I mean. Avoid using IPL device if there isn't enough contrast between your hair color and your skin tone as it might not be effective. For the device to target the hair follicles, there needs to be that contrast. So make sure to check the device's effectiveness chart before using it. This is important. Don't use on tattoos or pigmented areas and if you're pregnant or nursing. Hormonal fluctuations will affect pigment in the skin and IPL can make pigment issues even worse. So just avoid it. Having said that, avoid using IPL device on irritated, sunburnt or damaged skin as well. I have this scratch on my face because my dog scratched me and then I have this wound that is still healing and then I have a burn from my hair curler. So I'm avoiding all those areas before it's completely healed before I use the device in those areas again. Next, don't pluck or wax. Never pluck or wax the area in between your IPL sessions. As much as it's tempting, don't do it. The device targets hair follicles and if they're removed, it won't be effective. So instead of waxing or plucking, what do you do? You shave. So make sure to use a razor to maintain the treated area between your sessions. And then absolutely don't use anywhere close to your eyes. You don't want that light in your eyes. So make sure you're wearing your protective eyewear and keep a distance between your treatment area and your eye. I covered this before, but I'm going to repeat, don't expect instant results. It's not going to happen overnight. Keep your expectations realistic. 
IPL is not a quick fix. As I mentioned before, it's a journey. So if you need permanent results and good results, it's a journey and it's going to happen over time. I've completed three months. I'm into my fourth month now. And while I'm seeing progress, I know it's going to take a few more sessions to get the results I want. So I'm now getting in the maintenance mode. Having said that, to speed up the process, don't overuse the device. Stick with the recommended treatment schedule because overusing the device might irritate your skin and not really speed up the results. Especially with a device like you like, which has the cooling technology, it's very soothing on the skin and it's pain-free. And it's very tempting to use it more often because it only takes me 10 minutes for my hands and face combined. But although it's tempting to use it more often, I don't. I'm 100% following the schedule to prevent any potential skin issues and you should follow it as well. And there you have it, my friends, a comprehensive list of do's and don'ts for successful home IPL laser hair removal. You will achieve the results and sometimes really quickly, but remember patience and consistency are key to achieving those smooth hair-free results. I have tried a couple different IPLs in office setting as well as at home. And I finally settled for this one, especially because I love the cooling technology. I'm going to repeat myself because it's fantastic. And that, of course, makes it absolutely pain-free. If you plan to get you like, I'm going to include a link and discount code in the description box right below this video. So do check that out. To make it convenient, I'm also including that information in the pinned comment. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.